G'day guys, welcome back to Fix It In Post. My name is Nick. Today, we're gonna to look at how to do this loading screen. It's really simple. It only uses two keyframes. We're gonna use a little bit of expressions today, so don't freak out, but it's really easy and very simple. So let's dive right in. So look at this. Uh, it doesn't matter where I drag this around, the numbers will count out by themselves and it'll auto complete. So no matter where you drag these two keyframes around, uh, you can get this result and it can go as long, as short as you want it to be, and it'll always complete the same animation. So let's get started in setting this up. So we're gonna start a new composition. So we composition a new composition. Let's make it 90, 20 by 1080, 25 frames a second or whatever you'd like. 10 seconds is fine for me. And let's name this loading bar. Black background, and then we'll press okay. Now let's select a border for us to, you know, do. So we'll go to the shape tool up here. Make sure you select your fill to nothing and then go to stroke and make sure you select that to solid. And then let's pick a color, make it white. And let's select how big we want the loading bar to be. It can be as short or as small as you want it to be. Now it's a bit thick. So what I'm gonna do is make that a little bit smaller and dress drag it down until we get a nice border size. Now I'm also going to center this. So I'm gonna to go to the pan behind tool and holding down control or con control or uh, command, I'm gonna double click on this. And we're also gonna bring that to the center. So we've got the align tool and bring that to the center and that's nice and centered. Let's make the loading bar now. So let's go to the pen tool and we're gonna click in here for where we want the loading bar to start and click in and then hold down shift so we get a straight line. And there we go, that's great. And we're gonna make that a little bit thicker. So, and make sure this is a new instance. So how I created the, the new line was that I made sure nothing was selected and then I selected the pen tool, then I clicked on it and it creates a new instance of a, uh, a line for me. And so we'll just move that up so it's just in place there like that. All right, that look is looking pretty good. Now you can make that, this can be the bottom color. So let's change the bottom color to something that you might like. Let's make this one the traditional red or something more like red, which means it's not complete. And then we'll duplicate this by pressing edit and then duplicate or Command D or Control D. And we'll make the top layer green because this will be our completed color. All right, let's make our text. So let's have uh, our percentage. So it doesn't really matter. It doesn't matter what it's called, but we'll just call it percentage for now, just so you understand where it is. And we'll just move that here. And we'll duplicate that Command D or Control D and we'll bring that down here and we'll right justify it here uh, to the right here. And we'll type the word loading and then we'll also make a version and we'll call this one complete all right we'll turn off complete for the meantime uh we're going to animate the loading uh cycle first so what we're going to do is press t or bring up the opacity so you can twirl down and go to opacity and we're going to set a keyframe at once at zero seconds and another keyframe at zero seconds and then we're going to go in between here and make this zero and to make it blinking rather than fading you could make it fade i mean if you like that look that's fine as well um, but what i like to do is to make it blink so i select all the layers drag a box around it select all the all the keyframes that go right click and hold toggle hold keyframe and that'll do that but rather than cut and paste to make it load you know to basically pro, uh, you know propagate all those keyframes i'm going to alt click on the op on the opacity and i'm going to type loop uppercase out and then two comma brackets and that'll basically make that loop over and over again which is pretty neat all right so that's just gonna be loading the whole time sponsor time is your boss constantly harassing you to get those motion graphics out on a deadline outwardly you say it's fine but inside you're saying no god please no well cut those times in half using the lyric video creator kit 22 customizable presets, templates, motion backgrounds, and best of all, you don't need any After Effects skills. Just drag and drop them onto your Premiere timeline and you're good to go. So what are you waiting for? Grab the Lyric Video Creator Kit in the description today so you can leave early, hang out with your loved ones. Or if you're like me, go home to an empty house and watch TV alone, all alone. All right, let's make a little controller here. So we'll go to null object and uh, this won't be visible in your final render, but we don't really, it doesn't really matter. That's just there for us to basically allow us to put an effect on that doesn't affect anything else. 
So let's look for a slider control. And so we're gonna highlight that, type in slider up here in our effects panel and then drag that on. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna twirl down and go to the effects. And I'm just gonna bring this all up just a little bit so it's a bit easier to see. All right, so we've got our fix and we've got the slider control here. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna to go to the percentage here and we're gonna twirl down to the text. And you're gonna to have to do a little bit of coding here. Don't worry guys, I'll paste the code into the description so you can cut and paste it as you like. So we're gonna alt click on this and pick with it to the slider. And we're gonna name this variable um, num and we'll go equal to this. And then we're just gonna go uh, math, capital math dot, and then dot round, lowercase round, and then we'll go num, and then that's it. And what's really cool is that now, when we do count the numbers up, it'll actually count up with us. So as we set keyframes here on the slider, it'll actually key, it'll actually count up the numbers as well. Now we want to add in a percentage to the end of it, so we're just going to come to the end of this and go plus and then quotation marks and then percentage. And there we go, we have a percentage counter. So that's really cool. What we can do now is if we go to say five seconds and we make this 100, it'll go from zero to 100, which is very, very cool. All right, now let's make the bar animate on. So let's relabel these. So this was the border, this was the bottom bar, and this was the top bar. It's always important to label these things because you will forget. Let's twirl down and let's apply, go to the contents and go add and go trim path. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna select this end property and we're gonna pick, we're going to alt click on the stopwatch here so it goes red and we're gonna drag it to the slider and watch this. Now, these two are in sync see what's happened here. So basically we've allowed it to, we're running it from these two keyframes, which is fantastic. Now to get the word complete happening to come up, we have to do a little bit more of expressions to basically time it so that when this particular value gets hit, the word complete com comes on and the word loading disappears. So what do we do? All right, I'm gonna apply another effect onto, our, onto the word, uh, we're gonna put the word complete on and I'm gonna apply an effect called transform, which is basically a transform effect. It's, it's not much to describe, but it, what I like about it, it has its own opacity, uh, what it call property in it as well. And the reason why we need that is because I'm gonna apply this opacity expression onto the loading, uh, onto the loading text. But unfortunately, the loading uh, opacity has already been taken up. Uh, by this expression here, which is looping the blinks for us. So what we want to do is we want to be able to use this effect and paste it onto this uh, so that we can also apply a different effect on a different opacity for it. Like it's like a switch. We want to apply like a switch effect. All right, so let's get going. I'll turn this off for just a second. The loading word for just a second. And we'll go to the effect and then go opacity. Now, here we go. So we're going to click on this, alt click on this, and we're just gonna name this first variable. We'll just call it X, because I don't know what to call it. Anyway, let's pick whip to that. So X is assigned the value of what the slider is at a particular point in time. We'll just semicolon that. Now let's go, if X is greater than or equal to 100, so even if it goes past 100, it'll still be up. We're gonna make this 100% else it'll be zero so if it's anything less than 100 it'll be zero so watch this it's disappeared and when it gets to 100 it comes on and even if you go past 100 which i don't think you should but you can um you know it'll just go there so that's kind of cool now let's go to the let's copy this effect so we'll highlight the effect and then go edit copy then make sure it's the effect not the actual transform property we'll go into effect and the, the, the effect is called transform. So we'll copy that and we'll paste it on here. So edit, paste, and now we've got that effect here as well. Um, and so you can see here, this has the transform effect applied. We're gonna twirl down to the effects here and we're gonna just change these numbers a little bit. So if it's less, 
So in this case, we want to do the opposite of what the complete word is doing. So if it is less than 100, so if it's, if it's greater than 100, we're going to make this zero. Otherwise, it's 100%. And so there you go. And now watch this. We get up there and then finally we get to five. It's complete. Too easy. And look, you only have to change two keyframes to make that work. And that is as easy as that is. How cool is that? And you can even put extra keyframes in here as well. So if you wanted to like hold there for a second, like an actual loading bar that actually does that, you know, like you're loading and then it holds. Oops, oh, sorry, I shouldn't have made that second one a whole keyframe. Loading and then it loads up a little bit and then it holds, uh, holds again. You know, the possibilities, guys, are endless, are endless. You could, you could do whatever you like. I'm just saying, it's, it's, it's just endless. Well, guys, thanks for watching. And I really appreciate you guys taking the time to learn something new today. There is a lot more that I want to teach you and you can probably check out this video right here just about how to do a few more text animations, which are really, really fun. So check that out.